Welcome Virgo to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition uh, bringing you messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the one watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all the angels and the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light to bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Virgo. So let me go ahead and see who is the person that you're going to be connecting with in the month of July. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages of the person that uh, Virgo is thinking of in the month of July. And Virgo, what is your energy towards this person? Who is coming towards Virgo in the month of July in regards to love? And who is on Virgo's mind? And what are their energies towards each other? Who is the person that is coming towards Virgo in July? Thank you. How so we have unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so uh, the situation ship here is one-sided that's what I'm seeing also give your relationship a chance but it's in reverse so I really feel like for a go Whoever that you're dealing with, I feel that um, they may communicate that they don't have the same feelings as you do towards them. And this person really wants to uh, cut off the relationship. Wow, this is really hard energy um, from what I can see. Um, you know, they're no longer being flirtatious. Um, I really feel that... Uh, yeah, you they're trying to pay attention to the red flags here. So I really honestly feel Virgo that whoever that you're dealing with, this person isn't for you. Okay, uh, that's the feeling that I'm getting. So let's see what else. Now you, Virgo, you have romantic feelings towards this person. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And also, this is a past life relationship. So, what I'm getting here is a couple things. You actually have this strong connection with this person who does not have the same feelings for, towards you. I really feel that this could be a soulmate. It could be a twin flame. But I really feel like this is more or less a soulmate connection. Because your person is not really uh, feeling the same as you are towards this individual. That's what I'm getting now. Uh, if it's um, a twin flame connection maybe perhaps this person um has felt like it's been unrequited when it comes to the relationship with you and they're not even um you know putting any effort into the connection okay that's another thing i'm also getting so let's see what else spirit please clarify the energies of the person that virgo is connecting with and it's kind of strange here. I see here two different male and female energies, okay? And both of them are wearing a blue dress. I think I have to put it out there. So for one, you do have romantic feelings towards an individual, but also there is a past life relationship that you have with this person, okay? This person that you're connecting with, they don't want to give this relationship another chance because of this unrequited love. Let's see. Spirit, please clarify the energies of the person that is connecting with Virgo. 
and Virgo, what are your energies towards this person? What is going on with the unconscious and subconscious between you and your love interest? All right, let's see. Wow, we have an intimate date. Okay, so perhaps, you know, you went on an intimate date with this person and this person wasn't feeling it. Okay, there's not enough attraction or chemistry with this person. Let's go out and have a drink or two and have a little fun. So I really feel like maybe uh, they initiated a date night with you, Virgo. Okay, but this person really wasn't feeling it. Okay, wow. Um, I really feel like they're trying to get off some sort of deception that they wanted to give uh, this relationship another chance, but it's in reverse. So whoever this person was, I feel like it could be a past person. They they were the one to initiate that they wanted to have like an intimate date. Honestly, this feels like this person was sad and lonely and they knew that um, you still had feelings for them. And so they took uh, advantage of your weakness towards them, okay, for their own personal uh, pleasure or benefit. And what I'm seeing here is that if they came off as being deceptive, I feel like they're trying to get out this deception, okay, about giving this relationship a chance because this person was not really feeling it. I feel like it was kind of like a spontaneous um, energy. That's what I'm feeling. You know, perhaps this person wants to be honest that they just don't want to work on it, okay? They just wanted to spend some fun times with you is what I'm getting. Yeah, and I see her forgiveness. I'm willing to forgive you and let go of the past. So maybe this person is willing to forgive you because maybe you weren't completely honest also, but this person was kind of hurt. Maybe they're not feeling the same anymore. Maybe they came back to see if they could uh, ask for forgiveness. You know, perhaps it's your person um, that needed, a, you know, to ask for this forgiveness from you. Or maybe they're looking for forgiveness, you know, um, from you. Take it as it resonates. But that's what I'm seeing. So let's see. With you, we have restricted, but it's in reverse. Okay. It says, I feel restricted and confined by my circumstances. So you are not really restricting yourself. You have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. And you're like, you know what? I'm not blocked off. But this person seems like, you know, they're keeping you at arm's length. They don't want to, uh, you know, open up towards you completely is what I'm feeling. Um, but they do want to offer like, you know, fun times with you. That's what I'm seeing. Also, we have control. It's in reverse. I want to feel in control than to lose myself in love. I really feel that you're releasing your control. You love this person, Virgo. This person is coming in like, you know, the love is one-sided. They, they're just in it for the sex is what I'm hearing. Okay. It's nothing more than that. I don't feel like this person has deep feelings for you. That's what I'm seeing because they don't want to give this relationship another chance. They don't want to lie to you. So I really feel like maybe in the month of July, you have received contact or communication with this person. And this person was like, hey, look, you know, I don't have those same feelings for you that you do for me. But I'm willing to go out on a date, you know, if it's a strictly sexual, okay, or strictly, you know, just a platonic uh, situation. That's what it seems like, guys. I don't know. Let me know if that resonates. So let's see what else. Spirit, please reveal to me the energy of the person that Virgo is connecting with at this time. And if Virgo's energy wants to come through, please reveal Virgo energy. And if there's a karmic influence, please reveal the karmic's energy in this reading. Spirit, please bring forth the energy of the person that uh, Virgo is connecting with in the month of July. Thank you.
So I feel like your person is trying to release and let go. Okay. And I feel like, you know, they have high hopes, you know, uh, to really heal themselves. Maybe heal the fact that they've let you go. And I see that they want to be single, ready to mingle. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm also getting that <clears throat> for some, they're getting out of a, a relationship or a divorce. <clears throat> And they're not really communicating their truth about this. That they they want to work on themselves because of this ending of the deception or betrayal that's happened. Now, I really feel like that could have been between you two, or this could have been with some someone else. Okay, but this person feels defeated. Okay, because there was a period of separation, you know, and now your person wants to come back. But they don't have the patience to work it out. And I also feel like they're depressed. For some, they could have like an alcohol addiction. Maybe they lose themselves into drink. Okay. Or some kind of substance abuse. And they're being very manipulative. Now, Virgo. Okay. I would be mindful of this person's true intentions. Because what I'm seeing is that they're not truly healed. You know, they're they're letting go of whatever that they were holding on to. This could have been you. This could have been a karmic situation. But I say that they want to heal. So that is actually good. However, this person really wants to just be single. Okay. They just want to be alone. Okay. I feel like for some, they're getting out of a marriage. Okay. And now they're coming off as someone who is manipulative controlling and you're you're being authentic you're expressing your love you're not restricting how you feel towards this person but this person is like yeah ha okay well let, let's get together you know and uh have some fun times that's what i'm saying right they know that you have deep feelings for them okay and i really see that they they want to reconcile okay they want to come back party it up maybe go out for a couple of drinks you know and i really see that this person is looking towards their higher self because they know deep down inside they don't want to work on this and they keep thinking about the past so there could have been a karmic situation. They know that there's love there between you two, but this person isn't wanting to face this uh, connection. Okay. They have their back turned away. They're still focused on this third party. And I see that, you know, maybe this is just for passion. I see that um, they are wanting to move things forward. Okay. And find the strength and find that courage. To tell you the truth about a commitment or wanting to settle down in something more traditional. So I feel like your person has made a decision to offer you their feelings. Okay. So honestly, this is like very flippant energy. Okay. One minute they're like, yes. The next minute it's no. It's like, what is the truth? You know, so I feel like your person is not, they don't know what they want. And so if they don't know what they want, I would just be very careful, Virgo, okay? Because this person feels like there's a lot of time that has passed. There has been no growth. You guys um, weren't really together for a hot minute, okay? And now uh, this person is really thinking about their options. And so they've made a decision, okay, to kind of contact you quickly, that they don't feel good, okay, about, you know, maybe going out and this person could cut you out. Now, I don't know. Be careful of this person, Virgo, okay? Like, they may come off as genuine and you might like this uh, casual conversation or, you know, a chance to rekindle something. But I'm going to let you know, I know you have romantic feelings towards this person and you're you're what ready for the next level because you feel like this is a past life relationship. You don't want to control the situation. You want to go with the flow. But this person is coming off hot and cold. 
Okay, I don't think they know what they want, but in the end, they cut you out. That's what I'm saying. Let's see what else. Yeah, look at this. We have Seven of Swords in reverse, the Lovers in reverse, the Emperor in the upright, and the Three of Swords in the upright. So your person wants to come back and tell you the truth about how they ended the relationship. Okay, or how, you know, or the reasons why they didn't choose this is because of this unrequited love. Okay, now they want to come in, okay, and possibly, you know, make a plan for maybe an intimate date. But there is a third party situation, okay, where your person is feeling hurt over. So this could be about a past love that they're with, or this could be with you. Whatever the situation is, okay, your person is hurt. Now, if your person wants an intimate date and they come in hurt because it was fresh out of a relationship, this person is not ready for a real romantic partner. They're, no. <laughs> I'm also getting is that this person is always in their head. Okay, they're in their head. And I feel also that in their heart, every time when they try to invest, it never works out and they're burdened by it. They're like, well, I tried before. It didn't work out. So they're not feeling it is what I'm getting. So they want to leave the past behind. They want to really balance some things out. And they are stressed. They don't know how to balance this out. The way for this person to balance things out is to actually open up and communicate their truth towards you. Instead of cutting you out, not really communicating that they're walking away. They're stressed out about walking away. Or maybe this is a past energy. They're stressed about how they walked away from you. And you guys have been in separation. And they're still healing about a partnership, about coming back. They're stressed because they know you want more. This person doesn't know if they can give it to you. So I see that uh, they want to move forward. This could be, yes, in July. Okay, you could be dealing with a the cancer. They have their heart blocked. And I see that they're thinking about past times, right? So you feel like this is a past life relationship. So does this person. There's a sense of nostalgia. There's, you know, some kind of like um, energy here. And I really see that your person is making observations. They're not happy. I feel like they want to just end it. And... They're, they're just thinking about themselves. Your person needs some work. You know, yes, this is destined. Th you know, this was divinely orchestrated or divine timed to end. That's what I'm seeing. Wow. Well, it's not very good news for you, but there is going to be a fresh new start for you. Okay. It's going to start when you end this uh, bully behavior from this karmic. This karmic manipulates you, Virgo. That's what I'm saying. This this is a, a karmic soulmate that is coming in into your life who says, well, let's rekindle things, but uh, I don't I don't want to have a relationship. So I feel like they're going to come in and tell you the truth, but you're going to take it anyways, because you have deep feelings for this person. You have romantic feelings for this individual, but this person doesn't. And honestly, I feel like they're lost. They feel empty. I'm just going to have to to kind of put them out there. Okay, Virgo. So, you know, these energies are temporary, you know, just because a person is a past life relationship, you know, uh, doesn't have to be a, uh, a beautiful romantic relationship where you get to spend, uh, you know, the rest of your life with this individual. Okay. Maybe for, you know, um, uh, for a moment in time, 
but it's not a forever thing because this person doesn't feel the same way as you i feel like it's a karmic partner and i feel like this person is here in your life to teach you a lesson so that um you can uh you know remedy this in this lifetime so that you don't have to cross paths with this person in your next life that's what it feels like because um if you're allowing for this person to step all over you i think that that's your your lesson your karmic lesson to be honest so let's see when this person comes through how are they going to show you that they love you okay so this is you know for that person that you're connecting with who has unrequited love towards you this is how they come through spirit when this person comes through in the month of july how is this person shows up towards my virgos how do they show up Maybe it's in a tropical paradise. Maybe you guys are going to the beach. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Maybe they they want you to, to take them out to the beach. And, and, you know, they just want, you know, just the uh, experience here. Fireworks. This could be 4th of July. I could do not, man. And also... They are your biggest fan. They act like they're all into you. And um, I really feel like you guys might meet on the beach. Uh, there could be fireworks. This person is, is like a blast from the past or something like that. Or, you know, maybe you guys, you know, get together around um, the holiday. That's what I'm seeing. Is there anything else that wants to show through about how this person is going to reveal their feelings that's too much one message please spirit thank you ha <laughs> karaoke serenades so maybe your person likes to mess around and they like to sing and that's how you fell for them you know maybe they like to sing love songs or you know something and um they're like you know uh you know i'm all into you you know you're the one for me and you're like all into it you're eating it up virgo okay and i see that you know it's the whole nostalgia you know there's fireworks going on it's feeling like a tropical paradise it was a hot night <laughs> but this person was like let's go out and have a drink okay one thing led to another and you still have feelings for this person but you know um this person is deceiving you they don't they don't even want to give it another chance it was just like in the heat of the moment type thing that's what i'm getting so just be aware of that okay virgo so let me see what else spirit what are the messages that want to come through for the person that is connecting with Virgo. Or the messages that want to come through. Please spare it. Well, they do love you. But honestly, I don't think this person knows what love is. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I am re I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. I wish I had treated you better. This person treated you like you were second options. Sloppy seconds, right? I look for you everywhere. And I want to be more than just friends. Now, take it as it resonates, Virgo. They want to, I feel like this person's leading on. Because if this person has unrequited love and they want to go on on this intimate date, they have ill intentions because I feel like the truth is, okay, they don't want to give this relationship another shot, okay? It, it was like a heat of the moment. And this is, this is how it's going to come down. When they meet you, they're going to say, well, I love you. You know, I want to be more than just friends. And you're going to eat it up, Virgo. You're going to believe this person. 
I know that I was a distraction from your pain. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson, you know, what we went through. I wish I had treated you better. And I feel like this is all fake, okay? They look for you everywhere. I would just be careful, Virgo, okay? You know, um, take it as it resonates, guys. That's that's what I'm feeling. So let me go ahead and see what is the, the conclusion here. <laughs> Spirit, help me out, okay? <laughs> What are the, the guidance messages for my lovely Virgo? So Virgo, if this reading sounds like it could resonate with you, okay? And if you feel like this is a uh, a forewarning, okay, of what's to come uh, towards you. Let's see, what is your guidance message? Spirit, please reveal to me what is the guidance message for my lovely Virgos. And if the cross watcher is watching, this could also be for you. So let's see. What is the guidance that you have for my lovely Virgos? Please, Spirit. Choose a new direction in the near future. That's what I'm saying. In the near future, you're going to have to choose a new direction. But you have free will, Virgo, to choose, you know, if you want to entertain this person or not. Because I see that you have romantic feelings for this. So it's going to be difficult. But I feel like that's your karma. Okay. Whether or not you could, you know, use your discernment uh, and see the true intentions of this person. Okay. Because it is an unrequited love situation. Let's see. Is there anything else? That wants to come through. Improve your health. You know, instead of focusing on this person, improve your personal health and well-being. That's what I have. So I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you could visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope y'all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.